you definitely need a lawyer to assist you in the defense of your case when you are charged with possession of marijuana, second degree, possession of drug paraphernalia, or any other drug offense that is pending in municipal court. Under Alabama law, the maximum amount that you can be fined in a municipal court on a class A misdemeanor such as unlawful possession of marijuana second is $500. You can also be sentenced up to six months in jail. The issue with a conviction for possession of marijuana second degree is usually for most people related to the driver's license aspect. And your driver's license under the Code of Alabama will be suspended for six months if you are convicted of possession of marijuana second degree. The, cap, the collateral consequences of a conviction for possession of marijuana second degree in a municipal court, it, those are very severe as well. If you have a drug charge conviction, which is a conviction such as possession of marijuana second degree, the federal government will deny for a period of time your ability to obtain federal student aid to assist in your attending college. Also, you could be passed over for promotions at your job if you have a conviction, or you could be denied employment or terminated with a conviction for possession of marijuana second degree. In addition, if you have a professional license, it is very, very, very important that you understand that if you are convicted of a drug offense, depending on what your board requires, you will likely be required to notify your board either immediately or on renewal that you have been convicted of a drug offense. It's very, very, very important that you do everything within your power on the front end to avoid a conviction so that you can protect your professional license. Even if you are charged, there may be a requirement that you report that to your board, but if the charge is dismissed, you will not suffer any of the other collateral consequences and you may not be subject to discipline by the board that issued your license. There is no question that you need counsel when dealing with any drug charge, but especially possession of marijuana second. The other drug charge I want to talk to you about is possession of drug paraphernalia. On any traffic stop or any encounter with the police, if they find something that could be construed to be used to make or cultivate or use any type of drug, they can charge you with possession of drug paraphernalia. If you look at Alabama Code Section 13A-12-260, it lays out about 15 ways that an item can be used in a way that would constitute drug paraphernalia. In addition, it, it goes through a list of items that I will not go over with you here. The bottom line is, if you are charged with possession of drug paraphernalia and you feel like you are wrongfully charged or the item was in your possession not for use as drug paraphernalia, then it is something that we need to be aware of so that we can bring that up through the negotiation process in an effort to settle the case or through the trial process. It's important for you to understand that there are multiple options on resolving drug cases that help you to avoid a conviction. That is the goal in every single drug case is to avoid a conviction for the charged offense. It is important that you have competent legal counsel who has handled thousands of Alabama criminal cases and 
who has the experience and the knowledge necessary to get you the best result possible on your case. We are members of the Alabama Criminal Defense Lawyers Association, the National Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. I am also a member of the Texas Criminal Defense Lawyers Association. And those things are important because we are able to stay in touch with other lawyers around the country and also re read and review publications about drug offenses and the defenses available. It's just very important that you have somebody who is knowledgeable and experienced in all aspects of the case, including the collateral consequences issue.